How important is it to do research in order to match into residency? I'll explain the data and show you why this chart is misleading. Let me know if you could spot why this chart is misleading before I tell you. So this is data from all USMD seniors who matched last year. Seniors averaged 10.2 abstracts, presentations, and publications. Those who matched into their preferred specialty were in blue, and those who applied to the same specialty but didn't match are in green. In every single case, those who did research matched at a higher rate than those who did not do research, except in pediatrics. I don't know how this happened, but in pediatrics, the average number of people who matched was 6.4. The average of people who didn't match was 21. On the flip side, neurosurgery had the highest number of publications at 37.4, and those who didn't match still had 31 publications. That's an incredible amount. Plastic surgery was also very high at 34.7, and those who didn't match at 26. Dermatology was also high at 27.7, those who didn't match at 19. Did you spot why this graph is misleading? Neurosurgery, plastic surgery, and dermatology are literally off the chart. I have no idea why NRMP did this. In all the other charts, the y-axis is correct, but I spotted this. It's completely not to scale. Y-axis should go all the way up to 37 or 40, so that way you can encompass and see the range and difference between the specialties. Neurosurgery and plastic surgery are literally off the chart, but when you look at this graph, you would think that they are similar to other competitive specialties. Another caveat is the number of abstracts, presentations, and publications are not an indicator of the quality of research. It's simply a numbers game.